Hi folks, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install Cisco's Cloud Services Router, which is called the CSR1000V, on VMware ESXi version 5.1. The prerequisites of this installation are that you need to have access to CSR1000V IIS XE image as a .ova file. You need to have an operational ESXi 5.1 running and you need to have a configured vSphere client which can access the ESXi host. Um, you need to obtain the file with a valid CCO login from Cisco's website. Uh, this is the file that I fetched. So this is 3.12.0se.ova file that I downloaded. My test setup consists of this image downloaded to the local repository. I have a Cisco UCS CCD server, which is C220M3 which is running in my lab. It has one physical CPU, it has 32 gigs of RAM, and it has four uh, SAS um, hard disk drives. Uh, with this sort of setup, I was able to run 15 CSR1 KV instances. Um, every single VM was utilizing one virtual CPU and was given 2.5 gigs of RAM. So I'll lay out the steps which would be required uh, to pursue with this installation. The first thing would be that you need to import .ova file. Uh, then you deploy that VM, you edit the settings of that, you add a virtual serial port. So once you modify the settings of that VM, what you essentially need to do is you need to add a serial port for that specific VM instance. Then you need to transport that serial console across a virtual network. Uh, which is what I'm going to detail uh, later in the video. Then you start that CSR up, you change the default security profile on the ESX host to open the TCP ports so that it can listen on those ports that you've configured for transportation of those uh, virtual serial port connections. And you know, you'd know you have a uh, one of the instances of CSR 1KV running by that point in time. Then all you need to do is you need to clone the files um, so that you have multiple instances of that VM running. So let's kick it off. The first thing is I'll go to the vSphere client. This is my host, which is running on 1067.24.240. I'll go ahead and deploy an OVF template. I have the file available on my local hard drive. So I'll click that OVA file, which is the 3.12.0s image. I click on next. This gives me the details of that. So it's a Cisco CSR 1000V Cloud Services Router. It is running this version, which is 3.12.0s. The vendor is Cisco Systems. The file of that OVA file is this much. I click on next. Here I would rename it to CSR-1. I'll click on next. I'll opt for the small config, which requires one CPU and 2.5 gigs of RAM. The idea is that I need to demonstrate that I can use these many resources for one single CSR. You can opt for, of course, medium and large configs if you wanted to, uh, but I'd opt for the smallest possible config in here. I'll click Next. It opts for the data store. I use th thick provision eager zeroed. I click on Next. Uh, these are the details from the OVF template. I click on Next again. This summarizes everything. Uh, you click on finish. It's going to take a couple of minutes to deploy the CSR VM. So the moment this happens, then the next step, according to our Prezo, is that we have to edit the settings of that VM. And we need to configure, and uh, we need to add a C report, and we need to transport that across a network. So I'll just copy this from here and wait for this to get completed. Okay, so this is complete now. You go ahead and close it. You've got the CSR1 router available here. What you do is you click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. You need to add a serial port. Click Next. Check Connect via Network. Click on Next. You need to check server because you want uh, the ESXi VM instance to listen for this connection. This is where you specify the telnet IP address. So this IP address is the address of that 
ESXi host and this is the port that you have given to it. You need to ensure that this is checked which is connected proper on. You click on next, click finish. Now what you need to do is you need to power on the virtual machine. You need to go to the console. Select serial console. Press enter. It's going to throw up some boot messages. In the meantime, what you need to do is you need to go back to the host. Go to the configuration tab. Click on security profile, firewall, click on properties, scroll down all the way. You need to ensure that VM serial port connected over network is checked. This allows transportation of um, that serial console connection of that specific CSR1 router across the network. So click OK go to the router, go to the console. What you now need to do is you need to go to secure CRT, set up a new session, telnet next, specify the IP which is 10.67.24.240 in my case. The port that I specified was 4001. I click next none here click next and i'll call it csr-1 click on finish i will connect it here's where you have to select packages.com press enter Alright, here it gets you the router prompt. The first thing that you do is you rename the host CSR-1. You also go to line con0, login synchronous, and you do a write manually. That's step number one. Now you go back to the router. You shut down the virtual machine. If you go back to the slide deck, you'll get to see that we have completed all of this. We have changed the default security profile. We have allowed the TCP high ports. Now we need to clone the router to come up with additional instances of CSR 1000V. So for this, what we need to do is, okay, so this is all stopped now. We need to go to the host. Um, on this host, we get, need to go to config, storage, select the data store, click browse data store. In this, you will see that this is the CSR1 CSR instance that we created. Select all the files here, right click, say copy, go to the root folder, create a new folder, give it the name CSR-2, go in here, do a paste of all the files. All right, now the files have been copied. What you need to do is you need to go to this VMX file, right click on it, click add to inventory, you rename it, Give the name CSR2, click on next, click on next, finish. All right, you should be able to see a CSR2 router under the host. What you need to do is you need to edit the virtual machine setting because you need to modify the port numbers. For serial port one, you need to specify a different port number for this. So you specify port number two and server is checked. You click on okay. Now, click on power on the virtual machine, go to the console, 
it would say it will throw you this message click on I copied it click on OK start powering up now what you need to do is you need to go back to this console create another connection to do the same for creation of the third instance so what you do is you go back to the data store select all of these files do a copy go to root create another folder name it csr re click on this folder paste all the files it's going to take a little while and you'll come back to this Okay, now the copying is complete. Right click on this VMX file, click add to inventory, rename this to dash re, click next, next and finish. Close this, there's another instance now created, edit the virtual machine settings. Go to the pseudo port, give it port number three and power this on. Go to the secure CRT, create another instance of that, modify the properties, change the port number. This is your third instance. So now you've got all three instances of CSR 1000V running and accessible via secure CRT. If you go back to the vSphere console, click on the host, you should be able to see the utilization of the memory and the CPU. In my second video, I'll go ahead and talk about how to interconnect all three of these instances utilizing one of the topologies which I talk about in this slide.